What's up, timekeepers? Me, Time Gamer here, gonna be trying out a little game for you guys called Like Roots in the Soil. So, if you're ready, I'm ready. Time to roll the intro. Alright guys, so today I'm going to be trying out a small little story-driven game called Like Roots in the Soil. So this is this perspective of two different people. I'm not sure how the game is exactly, so we'll have to see together. So without further ado, let's just jump right in. Alright. So right now we're seeing the perspective of two different people. Inertia. All objects continue their existence state of rest or uniform motion unless that state is changed by external forces. Oh, this is like post and pre-war, pre-apocalypse. All objects continue their... Okay, I think I already did that too. That's pretty cool. I like this little... First the calm and then the sudden force to the, that disturbs it forever. I like, I like this concept. Ooh... The, the root was lost. I don't know if the same person... No, it's two different person, eh? In this city, every street, every stone and corner recalls my memories. You got the train track here and then the train... The, the tramway has fallen over. Hmm. Oh, you can see it actually... The train pass, pass by or the tram... They're like tiles of a map. Okay. Oh, I can do. Okay, cool. Oh, cool. See, the other, the older gentleman has a sort of small little limp to him. Bitter sand to swallow. It's a cool little fucking. Even the music shifts. Like here, you got like sort of a, sort of a depressing type of sound. Here, it's more of a vibrant sound. A cold ocean made of steel, waiting for its sailor. Hmm. I don't know why I'm always a fan of games that are post-apocalyptic for some reason. So you got the two of them right here, work, walking right beside each other. Absorbed in the oblivion of the present. Trying to trying to understand the story too, because this is a story-driven game, of course. The only mechanics I can do is just switch between views, right? At every step, I'm a, I'm attracted by the future as much as I'm pushed away from my path. Path. It's an interesting mechanic, because you have to think that they have to create the world twice, in two different colors and with two different perspectives. Oh, it's Asia? Asian? Held up by a story that is deep root in me. I'm just I'm wondering because the, the can he has on his back, the older gentleman, that's sort of the picture of the, the, the game itself. Oh. Roots born by the courage of a single person. Some buildings are like completely destroyed too. Yeah, you have What's cool is you have to create like both worlds in this game, right? And then you have to pose them together and the game has to keep track where you're looking all the time. Son like me of my father. Sons like me of my father, yeah. Oh. Okay, there's the tree. Oh, is this in the past and that the other one's in the future? He keeps walking, he stopped. Or it's him in the past and- okay. Oh, okay. He leaves it there. Okay, so that's in the path. And this is in the future. Okay. Sort of the rebuild. And he, the older gentleman, planted and now he's leaving. Like roots in the soil. Oh, that's a cool little story. It says it goes by here so I can end the game already. Oh, that wasn't a long little, that was a short little game, but it's still a fun little game. 
all right guys well that was like roots in the soil hopefully you guys enjoyed i really like enjoyed the concept of the mechanics of the uh, of this game here it's some simplistic short little story less than four minutes but uh the story was pretty cool like at least i, I got the story at the end what it meant uh, like the little can he has on his back you can see it in there but uh it was a very fun little story i, I would see like bigger games using this mechanics where uh you have to do something but to do so you have to look at one world to see what's happening and then you have to look at like let's say uh it can take place like uh i don't know like a day into the future or something like that and then you can just switch back and forth to see what happens so you can try to avoid what happens then you see the change in the future part and stuff like that so that was really cool so hopefully you guys enjoyed if you enjoyed of course like the video and subscribe to the channel of course what you can also is leave a comment below what you think of this little game if you like enjoyed the mechanic or not and you can follow me everywhere me time gamer twitter twitch facebook instagram and of course right here youtube.com forward slash me time gamer where i post a new video every week monday to friday 3 p.m eastern time so thank you so much guys for watching and we'll see you in the next video keep on keeping on